bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. The water's above us. We're going below the water, underneath the river. Well, that's a first for me. Oh, really? No. <laughs> I never oh, don't think yeah. so ever in my yeah. whole life. They do it on the East Coast. Wow. This is what they're trying to build in Seattle with Bertha, something like this, but a bit bigger. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. I've been on ones where you see the water dripping in the sides, so they just have big pumps down below. Uh, yeah, that's a little, that's a little scary. See, they, they do it like a bathtub, see all the tile on the side? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hola. We spent the night here in Robertsdale at the Camping World. We picked ourselves up a membership at Camping World for 29 bucks. And at this location they have power. What what kind of power? 20, 30 and um... well, they have big 50 amp plug-ins and then uh, over that way they have a dump and water. Where we sat we just had power. Uh, the water's turned off here which is fine and dandy, but $29 for a membership. They're gonna send 10 bucks back in mail to us. I think we're gonna end up staying a night or two here, right. so it can't go wrong there. And it was really nice last night because um, it was really humid here, and having the fan going was a, <laughs> a nice, uh, nice addition to the inside. We can't, we can't run the um, air conditioner with the ge the little generator, and to run the big generator all night long just is not, we just don't do that. Well, we don't have a 50 amp plug-in for the RV. Right. Because it has a 30 amp plug, I was not gonna go spend $30 for a plug for one night just to get the 50 amp. The um, 15 amp was fine and dandy for everything else we needed. Right. So, anyways, we are going to go do a couple touristy things. We're going to take you guys along with us, and hopefully you guys enjoy. I don't know how big this little, I don't know how big this town is, but uh, there are a couple things that we want to go see, so let's go. Rock and roll. So we have none of the above here today. It's not rain, it's not sunny, it's not foggy, windy or anything. It's just overcast and it's a beautiful day. Well, Alligator Alley is open seven days a week and they have feedings, live feedings, uh, three times a day. 
And let's see, the adult admission is $12. We've got senior pricing and some military pricing. And there's the feeding times, 11, 1, and 4. They've got a cute little gift store. Some animals, lots of shirts. Hello. And then it's, how much is it to feed them? Uh, it's like $4 or whatever for a little cup. For a little cup? Okay. So we're going to do it with the, the yes, little cup there. Yes, ma'am. 17 for that big bucket. So what what kind of food is it? It's like dog food. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I see. Just toss it out as you want. That is some and big dog food. It's at 4 o'clock at the bleachers. Oh, and we get right. to keep the cut. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Go, you get to go grab a gator, too. Oh, it smells like Oh, does it food. smell good? Maybe if you're a gator. <laughs> and let's go find Crunch. Captain Crunch is what they called him. Well, that's a scary thought. All right. Let's see what we got here. Alligator food. Oh, I don't see any. Oh, there's one. Oh, he's a baby. He's down there under the sunlights. There's the big pigs. It says right there, I see Aww. friends, not food. Oh, good deal. Somebody on a comment on some things that I had read said that they feed the alligators the pigs. <laughs> I'm glad to know that's not true. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> he's not sure what to think. Maybe uh, he's following me like he thinks we have food. That's a mama. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find us some gator. That just don't seem right. <laughs> Not when you're here to enjoy the gators. <laughs> well, this is the four-year-olds. Oh. See, it's so colder. Yeah, they're that's slow. <laughs> they are. That's about the size that we saw at your sister's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's see what happens there. Oh. Uh oh. Get it? He did. Oh. No, they're not going for that. No. They don't want to. Oh, my Lanta, there's so many. They don't want to work for that biscuit. These are four year olds. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. oh. oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So nice and cold, they're like, oh, yeah. back and above. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's a big one. Holy He missed moly. it. I never saw anything like that over there along the shore. Bad children report the feeding area. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Scott, you need to report over there. I know. Oh, you're on a big one cruising across. Oh. <laughs> they know it's feeding time. There have been folks at the beach that have been swimming the past couple of days. I, if you're one of those crazy people, hey, my, I, you have all the respect for me in the world. This is Arnold. Come on, Arnold. You can do it. Open up. Come on, big boy. Oh, my God. He's like, I'm real tired and I'm kind of cold. Open up, Ryan. Open up, big boy. One more time. Come on. Open up, open up. Big boy. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to wrestle him in a minute. <laughs> no, that's, that happens on Saturday. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, if, if you like, he's got black beard. 
one of our per uh, Peruvian bolas over here. Um, he is a real cool snake. So I'm gonna go this way, guys, because that uh, snake is right there. Not into that. Oh, you All right. There's a the gator you can go hold. Okay, I'm gonna walk down here. Oh, he's getting exactly. aggressive. Yeah. He's trying to jump on you. Woo! He's fired up today. He's usually kind of laid back. It's the weather. Yeah, he'd bite her. Hold it, Ooh, we. Let me get his energy out of him. He's been swinging his head a lot today. Work it out. Just, just what you do. You tie it all, get her out. You just work him. Keep working him until he gets so tired he'll just relax. He's still got a lot of energy in him. Work it out, man. But he's starting to slow down a little bit. He's not lunging near as high. Yeah, getting tired. You're getting tired. You're alright. 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 You're
Oh, oh did you one. hear him? Mm -hmm. He growled. I wonder if that's a female. Oh, you got it. Wow. There's another one out here. Oh, got a whole bunch of them coming out. This is where they should have done the feeding. <laughs> They're a little bit more active. Well, ready to go back here? We're going to feed this one. He seems like he's ready to eat. <laughs> here, puppy puppies. There you go. Okay. Did he get it? Mm -hmm. I can't see you. Yep. Oh, cool. <laughs> All right, well, we're still on the hunt for Crunch, but we have not seen him yet. Not sure if we will. He, my understanding is he doesn't uh, play well, and so <laughs> they, uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't hang out with the other ones. Mm -hmm, there's one over there between mm -hmm. the trees. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them over there. They're all over that place. In the swamp. These ones seem to be a little bit more active than the ones over there. Maybe these guys don't get fed as much. Maybe they don't come down in that area. Kind of weird that they're all around it. Oh! <laughs> he startled me. So this might be a good time of year to come because um, there's less tourists here. But if you come in the when it, the weather's warming up a little bit more, they, uh, my understanding is they're a little bit more active. So this is quite the elaborate little. Um, walkways all through here. That's where they go in and out. <laughs> they launch them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is what Scott's talking about. <laughs> right there. <laughs> right there on the shore. The other way. Right there. The big guy? Is it the, have you guys seen the big one, Crunch? Oh, seen the big one. Okay. <sighs> They're hiding them. <laughs> Everybody's on the lookout for crunch. Crunch. Hey, there's a sign for Captain Crunch. So this oh. must be where his food is, and so his lair's somewhere out here. Okay. He's hanging out somewhere. We gotta find him. <laughs> is that him over there? I don't think so. The other people said they didn't see him, so I don't know. I have a feeling. Here you go. I'll let you guys. Read that. Go ahead and just slow it down if you need to. Or pause the video. Um, I would think that if, if he's visible, I would think we would know because my understanding, he's really big. Right, hanging somewhere. So throughout the park they've got these little reader boards that you can stop and read about birds and lizards and oh all kinds of stuff. We wanted to see more of the gator than stop to read the boards because we just uh, we were running out of time but if you come here there's definitely a lot to see and I would recommend at least three hours to do it because um, we didn't get to go into the re where the reptiles were oh, that's correct yeah and Enclosed. right and they would be more active but the three hours would give you a little bit more time. We've kind of had to go at a little faster pace than we like. 
but that's okay. No complaints. No, not at all. And I think we're going to be the last out of the park. Let's we, go. We, uh, we got our gator fix. Now I don't know if I want to eat gator anymore. Yeah, I don't know the, if I will do that They have such either. a pretty smile on them. I'm, like, right. <laughs> I'm glad I had gator before I came <laughs> to the gator farm. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I don't know if I'd do that now. Well, we realized that we had one little chunk left in there. I was trying to save it for Captain Crunch. But uh, the gentleman that works here said that he was way back in the oh. uh, area back there where we walked. Should I give that biscuit to them in there? Sure. Let me put it. We can save it. But I want my cup. We don't need the cup either, actually. I want the cup. beer because it says, it says, fed the gator. Oh, all right. I'll keep my biscuit for that. Okay. When in doubt, when I find another gator. Thank you so very much. Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> yes, that, that, that uh, were pretty cool. It's going to take a minute to get the smile off my face. I have wanted to see a alligator up close forever and I know that this is a farm it's not I don't know some people will say it's not out in the wild but honestly <laughs> you walk back there on that um, walkway and you feel like you're in the wild close enough for me I kept <laughs> I kept thinking of the shows that I've watched on Discovery where those alligators jump up you know and grab grab birds and stuff out of the trees and I was, I had the camera down over uh, the fence area and I, all of a sudden I thought, oh, maybe I better not do that. <laughs> and then I had that food in my hand. So, oh, I don't even have Scotty in there, sorry. Um, okay, I think that's going to be the end of our day. We uh, are planning on going to dinner. Um, with Aja, so we're heading back right now. She did not want, she's seen gators, I think, before. <laughs> yeah. So she didn't want to go. So she's been, she stayed back here at uh, Camping World, and we're going back to get her, and then we're going to go to dinner. So probably call this uh, the end of this because that's going to, you guys got a lot to watch. <laughs> oh, you yeah. had a lot yeah. to watch. I was going to ask you, I didn't touch the gator. I really didn't want to touch the gator, but was it rough or soft or was, what? really soft wow. it felt um very soft like just soft leather kind of kind of warm he wasn't cold he wasn't he wasn't hot but he wasn't cold oh, so okay yeah that snake though you guys i i told scott as we were walking i wanted to get the nerve up to go up and put that um uh, was it a, what was it, a bullet constrictor? It was a constrictor of some sort. Yeah, I wanted to do that so bad because I keep thinking if I touch one or um, I get close enough, maybe that will take away my entire fear. I just don't know. And I was afraid that I would get up there. Let me roll my window up. I was afraid I'd get up there and then I wouldn't, I'd jump or something and then it would attack me. <laughs> or you drop them on the ground. Yeah, and I wouldn't want to do that. So, one of these days, maybe I'll get the nerve up to actually touch a snake. I didn't even want to touch a snake. So I, I played with them when I was little, but yeah, uh, I don't know what. I don't know why I'm so afraid of them now. Because they're a snake. All right, we gotta let you guys go. That's this has been a long video. If you've made it to the very end, thank you guys for sticking around with us. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. And look at that. Wow. I got all my fingers done. <laughs> and toast. Yep. You can jump in the water. Later, gators.